All right, so now we're done with the leg. We've got the back end on both legs, front and back. I got the shims cut, the front and the back, and I'm gonna glue it in. So it's the same with the, the arms. So I'm gonna glue the, put the tape in. I'm gonna glue this, set it down, and I'm gonna tape it. Just like that. Take this one, same way. I'm going to clamp both ends. And I'm going to use the, the, the big metal ones. Boom, boom, two of them. I'm going to keep it down. So, now I'm going to bead right down the center. I line them up. Best I can. Put them down, clamp them down. tape in and I didn't show you before but all the edges are 45 you can 45 them around them whatever one you choose I like the 45s one ready this one a little bit longer so we're going to use three pieces of tape I'll go ahead and tape the other one get it ready down with the second one. And there's two. This one I like to put a third one sometimes over here. Next one.
put the glue down. For that to dry, and the next piece will be this the battery pack or the ammo knee, whatever you want to call it. And then we will do the shins, and all that's left after the shins will be the thermal detonator and then the hand guards. Alright, so we've got the inner sh um, shim and the outer strip on. So we got both of them on, front and back. This is the right leg. So now we're going to put the battery pack on. The battery pack goes right here. So, I've already pre-drilled. I've already sanded it down, top and bottom. I've made the edge right here. Basically, you just get something round. And you just go like that, and then you it makes your edge. I drilled holes in the top corner, both top corners. I got the beveled edge. So this is the top with the holes. Bottom is a curved edge. So first thing you're going to do is most people are going to want to put this on and say, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. The three must be the middle. So let's put that one in the middle. But if you look at here, it's crooked because this part is way over here this other part is only right here so we're here and here that's crooked we want it to be half and half so what we're going to do is we're going to bring both the ends to where they meet pretty close see where they're half and half so this um, middle one is not exactly in the middle of the shim but that's okay and I also bent these in, you can heat them up, bend them in, and you, it actually curves, so it curves around. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here, and I know I want this thing right here. So you clamp it? So I'm going to make a hole, so that end's going to go there. And this one's going to come over here. Actually, I'm going to come over this a little bit more. So we want it to be in this raised part of the leg. We don't want this to be... Yes, it looks better straight. See how straight it is and see where this is at? But that's not how it was in the movie. That's not how it was in the movie. It was like this in the movie. So yes, some people might not like it. But if you want it to be actually accurate, that's what you have to do. So I got the hole. So now I know where I'm, I need the first one. So the first one's easy because it's not on. Once I actually um, put it in, secure it in, I can wrap it around and then I can poke or make a hole where my next one's going to be. This is what I'm going to use. It's called a pop rivet. So it's not a, a rivet, and it just basically goes in, and then you crimp it together. So that's, there are two pieces. You're supposed to hammer them, but I found this is much easier. Now let me make a hole, and then I'll show you. Get rid of that excess plastic. 
plastic here. Okay, so the plastics are gone. That drill is just right to where it fits right in. So we're going to put it in. Outside one, put in the inside one. It's going to stick through here. You're going to get this one. I'm going to pop it in. Just snaps in. So right now it's really loose. You can see how much play it has. And it will easily pop off. So what most people do is they set it down onto a hard surface and then they use a hammer and they hammer it. Well this thing tends to bend so you end up having, instead of them coming together like this, they come together like that. So I'm going to simultaneously push on both ends together so in essence they'll go like that. They might move a little bit but it's not going to be a lot. So I open Is them that up. Is going to mark up the rivet? Shouldn't you use no, that? it's not going to mark up the rivet. So I'm going to get it, push it in. So it's wide, and I'm going to make it smaller now. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to push it in the rest of the way. So now, if you look, it's pushed in. If you look at the rivet, no damage. The rivet is going to be painted, so even if there was damage, you're going to paint it. So now you're going to come over here. You're going to get this piece. It's going to come right in line with that. Come over here. And push it down. And you're going to draw your line. So I know I want it right here. So once I put it on, it just goes right on. Now I'm going to drill a hole. Clean out the hole. Right, so, instead of me putting it on here and having all that pressure, I'm just going to bring it around this way. And I'm going to snap it in. Snap it into the hole. Put the other piece on. Snap it in. Open up my pliers. Do the same thing as uh, the other side. Push it in. Close them. Do it one more time. There you go. They're both in. You bring it around front. And there it is. Done.